Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to take a look at an introduction to jQuery, what it is, what it does, and why we should use it in our websites. Now, if you're looking to perform Ajax operations or cool effects in your website um, and you are not completely familiar with JavaScript, jQuery is a really easy and flexible way to integrate things like effects, uh, jQuery operations and so on uh, into your website. Now jQuery is essentially a JavaScript library that contains uh, a variety of functions and other functionality that allow you to do this uh, extremely easily. Some of the benefits of jQuery it is that it is um, a reasonably fast loading uh, library. If you've used other JavaScript libraries you might find they are slow in comparison to jQuery. We've also got cross-browser compatibility so that brings us to one of the benefits of jQuery. If you use jQuery in uh, a variety of websites um, you are first of all using the same standard so you're using exactly the same thing. This is a benefit over writing the JavaScript code yourself and actually using uh, raw JavaScript if you like. Um, like I said we have cross-browser compatibility which means that uh, it will work through a variety of web browsers and if we go to jQuery.com uh, you can read a short paragraph about jQuery and some of the benefits here. I've just scrolled over uh, the cross-browser tick and you can see that the, uh, the uh, library is compatible with the following browsers and versions. Now jQuery is simply included into your page and we're going to be looking at that a bit later on you can download a production or development version. The production version is suitable for if you want to actually use jQuery and the development version is a slightly larger uncompressed version that just allows you to develop plugins. We're going to be looking at plugins a bit later on anyway. Okay so once you've downloaded jQuery you can go ahead and include it in your page and you can actually go ahead and start writing and using this. Now there's a short uh, list of companies here that do actually use jQuery so you can see that it's an extremely popular and widely used um, technology and uh, because it's extremely easy to use it allows you to uh, use these effects Ajax calls uh, like HTTP requests extremely easily so if you've seen for example Google um, when you enter the search engine and you start typing the page changes, you have results listed down the page. So uh, it's an extremely uh, important part of the web now, uh, now that it's evolving into uh, a nicer looking place. So why do we use jQuery? The simple answer is that if you want to create your website or anything into your website that uh, produces a lovely nice output, then uh, jQuery is probably the thing you want to use. It's extremely popular and uh, it's also extremely easy to use. Now there's an example on jQuery.com um, of a small uh, paragraph here and this code will actually show um, a particular um, a, a, a paragraph if you like. So let's go down and just click on run code. Now you can see that we've just um, been presented with this paragraph here and uh, we have some text. Now this is just a, a one example of what jQuery can do. We also have a wide um, library of functionality with jQuery. Um, we can do things like uh, check if a username is available on a, on a register form. If you are using say PHP to develop your website, you will love to know that jQuery will allow you to do things all on one page. Um, for example, check if a username is available in a database. You can then return this and it will be displayed in the register form. So essentially what we are looking at is creating a site that allows us to produce results onto a page with as little refreshing as possible. So the main thing with jQuery is that the, the Ajax functionality it uses allows you to implement Ajax into your website extremely easily. Now, the jQuery website contains um, a vast amount of documentation on ev pretty much everything. However, in this tutorial series, I'm going to be taking you through all of these and actually giving you examples along the way, as well as giving you some uh, other information 
in a way that you can easily understand it. So this paragraph here um, pretty much sums jQuery up. Uh, in the next video we're going, going to actually look at an, uh, another example of jQuery and we're going to take a look at some code behind this uh, just to show you how it's uh, implemented. Uh, then we're going to go on to look at actually implementing it into the site and creating our first short animation technique or animation effect and then we're going to go on to look at some more uh, animation effects. We're going to go into Ajax as well. So it's, it, it's an extremely powerful plugin. You'll also notice that there is a plugins um, or extremely powerful library. Sorry, um, you'll notice that there is actually a plugins uh, tab up here on the jQuery.com homepage, and this is um, a library of plugins that uh, various developers have produced, and this allows you to extend jQuery's um, functionality uh, for a variety of different applications. Things like sliders, uh, different slideshows, drag drag and droppable things, just a, a, a wide plugin library of different things you might find interesting. So I'd obviously recommend that you learn jQuery before you start to use plugins. Um, it's an extremely powerful tool and it's pretty much the future of um, you know JavaScript in terms of how it's easily written. Some people do prefer to write JavaScript um, on their own, on its own without using a library such as jQuery. And some people claim that jQuery is uh, the easy option. However, because uh, we have these wide uh, variety of companies or a large variety of companies that are actually using jQuery, it just goes to show that it is an extremely popular tool um, that when implemented correctly um, is extremely powerful.